Waterloo Secondary School Alumni Association presents Our View for You, an informative series focused on you and your personal development. So the old, I'm Yvonne Babwa, past student of Waterloo Secondary School, graduating class of 2015. I completed both my O-level and A-level subjects at the school. I'm currently pursuing my degree in Bachelor's of Education with a business specialization at the University of Trinidad and Tobago. My career path is one of becoming a future educator in the field of business studies. What I'll be doing today is answering a few questions posed to me by the Waterloo Alumni Association just to give some advice on academic stressors and how to cope with these um, factors as well as some information on online teaching. The first question posed to me was how will I describe my academic success thus far? I would say it's been a successful journey, however, there were many ups and downs along the way. There are different challenges that you would meet as a student. Uh, my advice to you is never to give up. Continue working towards that success because education is key, knowledge is power. Uh, there are subjects that uh, will kind of give us a bit of uh, difficulties or trials. Those are the subjects that you need to practice and endure on. Reason being is that you need to know what path you want to choose uh, as a career and not a job. The difference between a career and a job is simply the fact that the career provides more fulfillment to you in comparison to a job. A job just gives you an incentive and you are satisfied with that. A career is more enlightening. It actually it fulfills something in you. And I would personally advise those that are choosing careers, to choose careers that they are happy with and they would like to see themselves not in the short run but in the long term. Alright, um, simple inspiration, continue to work towards achieving your goals. Best thing to do is to plan and set goals long, short term, medium term and then long term. Complete each goal and that way you'll be able to envision a greater achievement and accomplishment over a longer period of time and it will also keep you guided towards your successes. Second question was, what advice I would give students who may not have been successful at the CXC exams? From the point of view of a teacher, do not let it dwindle your hopes or dreams of becoming anything. There are different ways in which you can rewrite these exams. So for example, if you may not have been successful at the May June exams, you can still study, you can take lessons, you can continue towards studying and focusing on those subjects in exams such as the private examinations during January. These examinations are official exams and do count as passes. Um, what I would also advise is that do not take the time off from studying. You can do simple courses, continue towards guiding yourself in that path that you have chosen. Um, so even though you have failed a subject, I personally have failed subjects, I failed math. Um, I have a successful pass in it now on, with a distinction um, and it was through uh, studying and continuous improvement in my practice. You need to be able to continuously improve on the subject areas that you are weak in and do not let it dwindle your successes. Alright, um, also as a teacher, what are my thoughts on online learning? I would say that online learning is tricky, it is a difficult and a new state of mind. Um, as a teacher, it's a little bit complicated because it's not the usual face-to-face -face interaction that you will get in a classroom. Online is a bit, a little bit more trickier in terms of how to control and command and manage a classroom. However, it is needed at this time with the current pandemic um, post us. I mean, even though it's a bit difficult, we still need to be able to continue educating our population. Um, that is something that should not be stopped and as much as it is difficult what I would say also is that um, To prepare and plan it's the most important thing when doing online classes preparation and planning Use of powerpoints videos. This is the moment to actually use the technology uh, Available to us form of zoom skype whatsapp etc to still communicate our messages to the student population um, as a teacher it's always important to know that it's always good to have these skill sets on hand for situations like this whereby we cannot interact with our students so we still need to facilitate uh, their bank of knowledge by doing something and online learning is the answer it is a bit difficult what I advise I would give to students parents and other prospective teachers 
that may not be too up to date with the technology is to simply learn there are different sites um, there is Google there is YouTube there are different sites that actually go through um, each individual phases step by step through a process as to how to complete these tasks and how to continue um, educating using online resources it's very important to note that technology is advancing and the good news is that it is a, a lot more readily available and accessible for teachers and students and parents for those who may not have access to the um, variety of networks there are always alternatives so for example if you may not have a laptop and you cannot access zoom smartphones are a source of um, accessing the same network systems or even simple things such as whatsapp groups can still be used to facilitate learning um, posting word documents pdfs you can also continue to share links um, make simple powerpoints etc to continue um, providing this information to our students uh, as much as it may be difficult to kind of get in the frame of mind or state of mind towards doing this it is needed and it is required and i do plead to all those out there that are actually looking at this video to take into consideration learning this at least some of the basic technologies and social media networking um, applications available to us For more on these informative topics like Waterloo Secondary School Alumni Association on Facebook and subscribe to Waterloo Secondary Alumni 868 on YouTube, email admin at wssalumni.org for further information. Be sure to order your commemorative alumni polo as Waterloo Secondary School, formerly Waterloo High School, celebrates its 20th anniversary this year.